Hi, this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the Relay Station. We bring the news to you. I wanted to share something really quickly with you. I made a keto bread um, from a recipe that I found online. It was on a Facebook page. I believe it was one of the uh, keto pages. I can't remember which one. The person did not give a reference for who they got it from. So I can't really give kudos to whoever started this recipe or made it up but i made it this morning it was fairly good we really did like it the person that put it online called it um whoops my vacuum sitting here called it um french toast bread so i'm just going to read the ingredients off to you really quick first and then i'll put a couple pictures of it in this video i'll just put them in there somewhere and um you can see if it's something you might want to try yourself. But anyway, here are the rest. Here are the ingredients. Eight eggs, one block of cream cheese, and I softened it first. Four teaspoons of butter, and I melted them. A splash of vanilla, and then I added about, about maybe a tablespoon of allulose because I've heard that if you put allulose in the egg white bread, it'll help brown it. And it worked really well. It didn't make the bread sweet really sweet um i probably did get rid of a little of the eggy taste um although it did not taste like an egg bread it was a light taste it was really nice it was a denser bread uh, a moister bread but it was really nice and the lady called it um french toast bread and i that was a good name for it because it was kind of like french toast when we finished it um you cream everything together now i started making it with a hand mixer and it just wasn't mixing well enough, I guess, to make it real creamy like a batter. So I took it out of the bowl, put my mixer away, and I got out my Ninja um, um, blender. And I made it in that because that's, that's a high power blender. And it creamed it up really nice. Then you just pour it in a loaf pan that you line with parchment paper and bake it at 375 for 45 minutes. Now I have my, I made it here in the camper stove, which is gas, and I left it in for maybe 40 minutes. I did not let it go all the way to 45. It was browning. Um, it could have gone to 45, I think, but it was fine. I took it out at 40 minutes. And then what we did this morning um, is, while it was still a little bit warm, I sliced it, we put some butter on it, and then I put some granulated, um, erythritol and monk fruit blend like the Lacanto, the granulated i just sprinkled some of that on top of the slice and shook some um sprinkled rather some cinnamon and on top of that and just kind of mixed it together so it was like a cinnamon french toast and it was really good richard liked it we both liked it and i'll probably use it again whenever i have eight eggs that i can spare because eight eggs you know are a good bit now this was not a huge loaf pan. I actually have two glass loaf pans. I have the smaller one here in the camper and that's the one that I used. So eight eggs worked and we thought it was really good. So I thought I'd just share that. I will read the ingredients one more time just so you can catch it. Okay. Eight eggs, whole eggs. You don't separate them. One block of cream cheese, which is eight ounces. And I softened that first. Four teaspoons of butter. I did melt that first as well, a splash of vanilla. And then, like I said, I added the tablespoon or so of allulose and mixed it all together in a blender and poured it in the uh, loaf pan, lined with parchment paper, put it in the oven, and it turned out really good. We thought it was just a nice different type of bread for a breakfast. And I'm sure you could use it for, um, you know, whatever else. Now this, I would say it works well as more of a sweet bread. Um, I guess you could make it into a savory bread as well. You could add whatever you wanted, seasonings or whatever. You could probably even put in ground, you know, some sausage or some onion or something and make it more of a savory loaf that you could just maybe put in the toaster oven then and toast it. Um, I don't have a toaster oven. I do need to get one yet, but... That's what we did this morning. So this is Linda with the Life Station Express, the Relay Station. We bring the news to you. And that was what I did this morning with my new bread recipe for our ketogenic lifestyle. And it keeps us healthy and it keeps us just where we want to be. And with lots of energy, all that protein, some good fat, and that's exactly what's working for us. All right, this is Linda. I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.